Cheers, Gordon. Thanks for having us on stream. What the F is that? It's the elixir of youth. It looks like water, but it's not. It's pestle and filth. Throw a filter. <laughs> I hope it's a glass of gin. Yeah, the, the real UK way. way. <laughs> it's a pint of petrol. So, you're gonna do something strange today. Stu, can you talk a bit about what the heck is spectral chaos and what okay. are you going to do? Like, those, those are two qu questions. Yeah. Let's begin. What is spectral chaos? For so those who have no it, idea. You covered it pretty well in the intro. It's literally an unreleased set of magic. As I remember correctly, it was Barry Reich, who's officially the first person to ever play the game with Richard Garfield. He designed the set, or partly designed the set, before Alpha was released, I believe. And then he approached the Wizards with the set not too long after. And I believe they purchased it, not straight away, I think they purchased it maybe a little bit further down the line. And this set has a lot of things that um, went on to become staples in Magic as a whole, such as gold cards. Uh, which Legend actually be punched to. Um, other things that the set kind of pioneered was this idea of very rares, or I believe they're called mythic in this horrible modern world. <laughs> um, and it's, it is a bonkers set. Um, his, he approached magic um, in a very different way to a lot of other set designers because apparently straight away Barry understood the idea of the five colors in magic and how how important the identity of the five colors were to the game but straight from the get-go Barry wanted to break that and there's a lot of, <laughs> of course weird, yeah there's a lot of weird cards in Spectre Chaos that don't sort of naturally meet up with that kind of color pie there's weird there's this I, there's a kind of a weird kind of permanent state called uh, chaotic spells which kind of mix mash colors that wouldn't normally be mixed together with um, and the whole set is designed to be played as multicolored as possible um, which is easier said than done but it is a lot of fun let's put it that way uh, i actually uh, gonna send a link here in chat um, to a i think six year old youtube video where the misprint guy uh, yeah. Keith is just mm, top-notch, a, a legend. Uh, we've had him on on Flipping Orbs, uh, also interviewing him about his finding strange misprints all over. But he did a video because he actually bought the like original papers and so on. Yeah, we wouldn't Barry. be talking about it if it wasn't for him. We, no. no one would have known about that set. He effectively discovered it. Uh, and um, so there you can watch that video after this stream, of course, um, <laughs> if you want to know more about Spectral Chaos, but it is very, very cool. And you said one thing, we're not going to like go through all the cards and so on in the set, but you said one thing that has struck me when I go through it, and that is there are so many things in that set that has become part of magic later on. It is amazing how many new things he came up with that they then introduced later along the years. Yeah, way ahead of his time, basically. Um, I think, was it Invasion, I believe, kind of stole, well not stole, yes. used a lot of his card designs straight into Invasion. Because Inv um, Invasion is like the first real multicolored super set, uh, so right. to speak, and um, okay. yeah. Um, with that said, so, the set doesn't exist, so how the hell are you going to play a game of it? Well, I was, I was actually inspired by Marcus's um, old school vintage cube um, that I played with him the first time I went to an old school event. And if no one knows that, it's a well-known vintage cube, and he stripped it back and reworded it so it was all alpha language and he uh, redesigned it all to make it look like alpha cards and found like really cool old school looking artwork and bootlegged it. Um, and that's what inspired me to be honest, was to do that. And then um, I, I, I can't even remember how I discovered Spectral Chaos. I think it was through uh, the Whack Whack uh, podcast, I'm assuming, a couple of summers ago. And um, sort of early last year, I decided I was going to proxy my own set effectively and just 
originally I intended it to just be a singleton cube that I was just going to play with friends. Um, I found that I'm not the first person that's come up with this idea. There's uh, an existing set by a dude called Chan Sterling, and I kind of used his set uh, to really help me sort of iron out some of the wordings on some of the cards, because some of them are very clunky, even for me to understand. Um, and then obviously uh, Micah at Raging River MTG, he, uh, he has done a set that he announced as I was about halfway through making mine, and his set is absolutely phenomenal, and I recommend everyone to go and check that out at the, um, I believe it's the Chaos Orb Project, I believe it's his website. And um, the amount of work that he put into his set is phenomenal. He reworded it all, and um, he went the extra mile and found uh, copyright-free or license-free artwork that he could use without getting into any bother. Uh, unfortunately, I believe Wizards kind of clamped down on it um, as it got a lot of press uh, inadvertently, which I didn't think he expected. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I, I started yes. off with a project where I was going to do literally just one card every day, just proxy it up on Photoshop, find some cool looking artwork. But then the coronavirus happened, lockdown, I had a lot more time on my hands. So I went from doing one card a day to maybe like 10 or 20 cards. And within a, couple, a month or so, maybe six weeks, I managed to finish the whole set. And it was Andrew and Chris Sartin over at The Hive who had this great idea of playing it sealed. Um, Chris discovered this cool booster generator program where we uploaded the card artworks to, and you could set your rarity ratios, and it would spit them out as printable PDFs. And that's what we did. Oh. We gave each other maybe, how many boosters did we start with? Uh, and we started with six, didn't we? And then had a few added every few weeks, like through the beta test. And so it really gave you that old school sealed play with the cards you've got. Ah, so you did it like when you originally played. How Garfield intended with you just have a small bunch in the beginning and then you add mm. every once in a while uh, to exactly. make a larger yeah. pool. And so rarity yeah. also becomes like a power level. Uh, restrictor yeah for yeah. sure and more importantly um, i've got to experience aspects of the game which i'm just never going to get a chance to so playing for anti and just the fine art of trading like that's something i've never really done mm -hmm. and when we play spectral every game we usually play for anti and every other week we're trading back and forth um and it's and it's great because there's no pressure if you lose a bad card it's like oh oh well never mind so with, with that, we're going to have a look at your decks and also a bit of the cards so people actually know what's going on. Around 10 minutes before we start the match, I believe. Uh, but the, the decks you have today, they are not just like the six original boosters. There's more boosters and some trading going on. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they're still very janky, um, but it's, it's getting slightly more... Okay, so that's my deck. So, uh, yeah, let's not start with your decks, uh, deck. You you have talked way too much. Andrew yeah, is sitting sorry. there. Hugging the screen. <laughs> Hugging. Um, of course, some cards are being cut off here because um, uh, they went all the way to then. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, here we have a blue black control deck uh, if uh, if i've understood correctly when i've uh, looked through it so to speak or what do we have here yes um i mean we we did get to the point here where you were getting close to having play sets of certain cards the common ones um so you can see there i've got some play sets like you say mainly blue for a bit of control uh, small creatures like the vampire bats um, but there is uh, there's a couple of tricks I've tried in there we'll see if we can pull them off in the game again it's the old the original 93-94 feel of, of when you played with what you had is, is fantastic and I've got to compliment Stu with the artwork that he's picked as well oh yeah the you, artwork is you, you found some old real old school old school magic set yeah, I think maybe they're a bit too good to be proper old school. Um, a lot of them are well-known fantasy artists, but um, I think kind of, I guess you could kind of argue it kind of sits in that Ice Age Mirage kind of feel in terms of the artwork. Yeah. 
But uh, to uh, make it, as I said, a bit easier, uh, I have lists on the cards in your deck, which I can show on stream um, with a very simple string solution, but at least they, they should be readable. Yeah. So I was thinking just going through a couple of them here, like changing land types, but cheaper than... Um, it would be nice to show people the uh, the Tyrex, the black. The the very creature. very stupid creature for six mana. <laughs> yeah. And and again, this is this is to me this is what I used to play back in the day. Is you would have you go oh you'd open a pack and go oh look at that creature it's awesome, and without even deciding whether it's good or not, you just threw it in your deck and you were like yeah I've got to get that into play. Yeah. Um, so it, it's still got that fit, and I would recommend anybody that. The accesses and princes off if you could limit in some way and, and have uh, limit the pool that you've got access to it it's such a good feel because when we first started playing the the, uh, the beta testing it was people would play cards and you didn't know the whole set so you'd see a card and what's that i've never seen that before um it's yes but it's very good if you can play it in that in that way as well yeah. So this is a lizard that attacks as a 9-1 one once. <laughs> For six What's that enough? If, if, you, if you can do it, then you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, very cool creature. We also have Illusion, which is a sort of a removal. Makes a creature cost a lot in upkeep. Um, mm -hmm. uh, nothing. Forest Home. Uh, and, and also, it says forest home uh, instead of island home, and so on. All right, that's yeah. That's why we need. That's why we need the phantasmal terrains. But again, it, it's very clanky. Um, but if you pull it off, you lose with a smile on your face. Yeah. yeah. So how many of this <laughs> is in the deck? Uh... <laughs> one. <I think. laughs> yeah, there is one there. Uh, there you I like go. it. Power sink. Uh, card we already know. This is an interesting mm -hmm. card. And, and here we have, like, Shadow. It's just a strictly better Nether Shadow. And there was... Mm. Uh, there are more of those cards, like the Phantasmal Terrain, which is a uh, alpha card, which is just better. Because yeah. you saw it was way too... But then having said that, there's a, there's a disenchant, um, and, but that costs yep. uh, two colorless and one white to cast. The disenchant? Yeah, the disenchant costs more. Yeah, Ooh. and we have a creature well, that becomes. I would say one of my. Oh, yeah. I would say one of my favourite cards is the hand of Anubis. That's there's four of those in there, and that's yeah. We're coming uh, to that one as well. Yeah, I'm just so... taking them mm. by by order right now. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, just uh, trying to go through. Yeah, so slime balls is a card that I haven't actually seen uh, work yet. So I'm intrigued to see if we can get that <laughs> tonight. <laughs> it's a two-two that becomes bigger every turn. That seems very good. Yeah, yeah. If you're playing forest, that is, <laughs> which Andrew isn't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Andrew. Uh, you're, you're. Yeah, we, uh, we've we've got the um, we've got the phantasmals. Oh yeah, yeah. the phantasmals. Yeah. yeah, see there. Huh? And Big it's, it's, nice, it's nice to surprise your opponent as well, isn't it? Totally. It really <laughs> is. Uh, the Vampire Bats I really like. 1 3 flying uh, that yeah. gets bigger. Mm. Not if it kills, but if it blocks or gets blocked. Mm. Like, this is how it, the Sengir mechanic should be. Yeah, I wish. I wish. Um, yeah. And here is your favorite then. Um, yeah. It's, it's interesting because a lot of people, because um, it's a common, that obviously a lot of people pull in those hand of anuses. And I think originally uh, in our playgroup, people just ignored it as just a rubbish card, but it is, there's the, the, the most common way uh, for us to win games is through creatures. And uh, so a lot of people are, are packing as much creature removal as possible. And that hand of Anubis can be a lifesaver for sure. It, it, it's almost like an unsummon, but the creature can do its damage to another creature first. Exactly, so they can yeah. trade mm -hmm. uh, and after two creature has traded you and summon your yeah. one. Huh? Yeah. I will be. Yeah. We, we, nice we, we may see some fun with the vampire bats um, against the uh, the brick wall tokens. That could be interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're 
coming out well, a pinger that works a bit differently. So uh, yeah, a more power. <laughs> we can't go that. very deeply into every card, just so no, you no, know. Okay. Uh, we we want to play as well. Yeah. Um, but by by that, that's why I'm saying yeah, it's a pinger that works a bit differently. Yeah. Keep going. And a uh, Psionic Blast, that's a bit more powerful. It's one more yeah. to both. And a Sorcery, one though. Uh, but also one more. Um, but a very cool burn spell with also very cool art. Mm. This yeah. one is strange. Yeah, so there is an excellent brewer in our group called Simon, and he does something really impressive with Wall of Death. But I don't want to tell people because I don't want to break the format. Because we haven't attempted to break the ball at all, but Simon has. Simon's been brewing decks illegally, um, and yeah, it's uh, it looks terrible, but there's some there's some cards in Spectral Chaos that make it amazing. Nice and straight up removal, not uh, non artifact, non black, and so on. Very very good. This is also something I believe is missing in old school, sort of. Yeah. Um, a, a creature that puts uh, the card paralyzed on everything it blocks or block. <laughs> I like that one as well. Uh, a bad big big gin, uh, as as they are. He's very cool. He is very cool, and the artwork is also as as said. The artwork overall, Stu, you've done amazing work. Also with Jeez. this one, we've already seen. Uh, cool this guy. can give infinite mana mm. by itself. Yeah. If the opponent <laughs> wants you to have infinite mana, which probably is not what the opponent no. wants. <laughs> but like, what you tap it, it for, the, for mana, and the opponent can then untap it for mana. Yeah, and so it goes. Mm -hmm. And then you can tap it. It's spectral chaos. It's yeah. chaos. Yeah. Can happen. This is a chaotic multiland, and you, you talked about chaotic. Uh, it's just a word that it says. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a type, a card type. Uh, blue oh, there is some cards in the set that target chaos, chaotic oh. cards, I think. Yeah, it's very much like snow covered lands in uh, in Ice Age. Like they're usually kind of at a disadvantage for no <laughs> for having them, unfortunately. Ah, nice. And um, blue whale, uh, nice creature that eats every creature. Uh, if a creature survives it, it very puts flavorful. it in the m mouth and it stays there until the whale dies. I do like that one. This and uh, one. Wrath of God. Yeah. Uh, with a twist. With a twist and three black. And the last card in your deck seems very good. Very <laughs> yes. good. Especially because a lot of the cards in Spectral Chaos have two toughness. So that's a bolt repeater, effectively. <laughs> Yeah, th this year seems almost broken. Uh, <laughs> and uh, to change it up then, and let's have a look at your deck real quick. Let's see, there yeah, we go. Yeah, so have that. Um, I hate to deck. add, I haven't actually played with this deck before because my since the get-go, my baby's been a blue-black deck and Andrew's recently uh, developed his blue-black deck and I didn't want two blue-black decks to be going against each other on the first stream. So I oh, quickly that seems put good. this together using access to cards that I've got. A lot of high-end stuff, so I've had to kind of pack it with some mana ramp to kind of get around it. So I have no idea if it'll work or not. Yeah. But um, uh, ball lightning, almost, no haste, but dies mm. in there and flies. Just a creature, fire blast. Uh, yeah, it's a basically a fireball. Um, that's fine, that's effectively. Uh, earth bind. Yeah. Uh, some uh, oh, it's a modal spell. Yeah, I'm effectively using that as an overcosted lightning bolt in this instance. Yeah, uh, that's good. Flying first strike creatures. Here's the decision. There the disenchant that costs more. Um, white mana ramp. White mana ramp. Uh, also mana ramp. Oh, it's a lotus petal. Effectively, yeah. Hey, it's exactly Lotus Petal. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I remember that one now. And uh, we, we have a question. What is this? It's uh, the magic set that never was released uh, by Barry Reich. Uh, they've uh, done a, like a draft or a sealed league uh, with this, and we're going to play it in just a couple of minutes. 
Uh, a duel, you can only have one in play, more creatures. This is a killer. Okay, this, destro one. this destroys every land of one type. One by uh, one. Uh, one by one when they're tapped. Uh, I do like that. It's it's blight, but it moves around like, what is yeah. it, kudzu. Yeah, there you go. Perfect analogy. Um... Uh, um, so this this is a combo of sorts that I ripped off um, no, Brother with Ollie, the killer bee. Group. and it's killer bee yeah, with that dude. So effectively, you can exile a creature to give its stats equal, both of its power and toughness equal to it, uh, the exile creature's power. So the combo is it's a 5-5 five, 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 for five. 6. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, daggers to Plowshares is, by the way, the best name in the set. Well, it's a source of power. Card. I, I renamed this because because there are so many alpha cards in here with different um, yep. casting costs. I took some artistic liberties and changed some of the titles so it's not to confuse people and ignore the fact that they they do cost different. Um, yeah, so it's a source of pleasures for two. Yeah. Um, enchantments, um, a mono battery, mono battery with a sacrifice uh, ability. This one I do like uh yeah. tapping a creature to give it a plus one plus one counter i've had a lot of fun with this card there's 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 one card who's basically a, a mini jism Jin who's a four two for just two mana and um you get pinged for one every turn that it starts untapped so with that training pit i can constantly tap it and give it a, a plus one plus one token and then the solar flare that's the icing on the cake in this deck for sure it is yeah, Time to start the, crack. this is all, all, all players draw 10 cards. Oh, you draw 11, but still. Yeah. Uh, and this is a ritual that gives you, I don't know how many mana. It, it doubles your mana for a turn Fair for zero. Yeah. It's. Whew. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, some angel that doesn't fly? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> it <doesn't fly. laughs> Here's a strange call. Let's go back to that one soon. Um, pre yeah. uh, give protection to a creature, uh, move the protection yeah. around, and a very good ramp card. It's uh, mm. the diamonds uh, from uh, Tempest, but yep, can also take the record. But here, describe what this card actually does. Then we need to go to the game, I believe. Yeah, so it spits out tokens that you put in front of a creature, and that creature cannot attack or block until they get punched through this brick wall. And I believe the brick wall tokens are zero twos, and every point of damage they take, it loses a point of toughness. Yep. So effectively, if you put it in front of a 1-1 one -one creature, they've got two turns to punch through it. Yep. Um, so yeah, grind it out. Seems uh, like a strange, stupid card. I love it. <laughs> and uh, those are the two decks. Uh, and I believe we should uh, go down to the game and get you going. What do you think about that, guys? Let's do it. So I'm going to first uh, throw you out of here, get ready, and then we'll see you uh, soon. And he is already doing stuff. I don't like that. Like I want, I want to do it like this. So you can okay. change your camera when it doesn't. Yeah, professional. Yeah, look. <laughs> so now I'm muting you guys as well. God damn it! Get ready, and I'll <laughs> tell you when you can start. <laughs> okay. So that's what we're going to watch now. Uh, the red-white aggressive deck uh, against the blue-black control deck. Fun, professional boardingness, yeah. Uh, so let's see if I can get uh, get it set up though, uh, because we had all this new tech, and Stu just like shifted his camera and stuff like that. I have no idea why, but uh, that makes it so I need to do stuff as well, of course. Uh, but with that, let's uh, just uh, make the players uh, start and uh, go down to the game area. Oh. There we have them. Zombie Stew on Killer Phoenix and Andrew Tucker on, zomb on Zombie Stew. Something has gone wrong in my um, <laughs> player registration here, I believe. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix that. Uh, we have the decks here somewhere in my database. 
Uh, duh, 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 where do we have him? Andrew Tucker. Uh, Pre-registered players. And look. Let's see. There, Forbidden Swarm. That seems more okay. He's maybe playing Zombie Stew as well. Who knows? Uh, but we are going to see a game. The first ever live stream game of Spectral Chaos. Uh, I'm going to try to do commentary on cards. I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, but hey, that's uh, just how it is. And with that, drunk level goes up one. And, uh, and I do hope the players can start or start. Okay. Yeah, usually okay, I can hear you guys. Yeah, um, unfortunately, Andrew's getting really bad lag on me, but I'm fine with him. He's getting a good sort of like 30 seconds lag on me. Uh, restart your uh, stream, okay. uh, like re-enter and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. But I believe it's on, uh, yeah, I believe it may be on your side, Andrew, but uh, that should reset it. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that any better? Let's see. If everything works, you can yeah, start to play. Better. All good. Wiggling my fingers. Okay, let's hope they... There works, and Andrew is the player who shoots, who's to start, and so on. I'm guessing he will go first, uh, and he plays cards. My God, how how am I supposed to do this? Like how? Okay, let, let's see. I'll, I'll do, do that one at least here. And, and we had a blessed land. So the enchanted land is unaffected by other enchantments, cannot be destroyed. Okay, it's a wild growth, but also protects it. Uh, I do hear the players, what they are playing sometime. Uh, that. What the hell is that card? I don't have that card in my database. Hi guys, sorry. Uh, yeah. What card is that? Is that the Corrupt Sorcerer? Oh, I believe. Because uh, I have some other artwork uh, in that case. Uh, very hard to recognize uh, if I don't have the correct... Oh, I... It's, it's yeah, an old artwork. It's a what now? You explain, Andrew. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, this this is um, if I, I've won this in trade from somebody, so then Stu gives it a special artwork. So I should have taken that out, maybe and swapped it. No, I believe I believe wasn't that um, Israel? Didn't Israel trade you that one, and then uh, Israel painted on it? Possibly, possibly, yeah. yeah. So we kind of when we uh, trade or play for Andy back. And okay, forth, I'm I'm, I'm glad you're making it easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Because okay, uh, right. I will do like my whole job right now is to just um, uh, yeah. show every card you play on stream. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going by artwork to make it big and nice. Yeah. So my deck's got nothing. No alters in my deck's OG. Perfect. And there we yeah. have the correct one. Thanks. <laughs> right. Um, I need to deal with that sorcerer because he. Yeah, it's, it's kind of Google Translate, but I have like every card uh, open here on the side uh, as miniatures. So as soon as I see an artwork, I can try to match the artwork here, click it, and it uh, ends up on screen. Should I uh, do the card on screen a bit bigger, maybe, uh, actually? So let, let's actually make it, we'll make it ugly, but I, I think it's better for everyone if we like do something like that how about that okay uh that will probably go away soon let's hope so 
uh, as said, it seems that Andrew is the one having a bit of a problem here. Uh, Earth Stone coming down to on the play area, and that's a very good one. And um, why isn't it resetting? Okay, I'm gonna do. Uh, Let's see, uh, there we have him. And the lands are lands that probably, they're, they're probably basic lands. Yeah, let's hope for the best there. Uh, Cause those I do not have. <laughs> and now a fire blast taking down the sorcerer, uh, only costing two mana because he has the earth stone. Uh, oh my god, this is just so stupid in so many ways. I need to reset everything here. And that is the killer bee. Uh, the five one that dies after it attacks, but it costs three mana, so pretty good. And it has flying, not trample though. So it's a, it's a sort of a, uh, and here we have illusion, which I do not understand why it takes care of the killer beast, because he must play pay one in upkeep, otherwise. Uh, it dies, so that's a 3 mana deal 1 damage, that can be prevented by 1 mana. Uh, so 1 mana it seems. And uh, that is first blood. And uh, then it dies. Also zombies too forgot to draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so what do you think about this commentary? Is it is it is it doable? Is this something fun to watch guys? Well, I'm drinking a uh, Le Chouf Blonde today, by the way. We haven't talked beer at all. So there was a card going to the graveyard. There was a card going to the graveyard. I have no idea what it is because there's glare there. A blue card. On, uh, no, okay, that's a sorcerer. Sorry. Yeah. And another sorcerer hits the battlefield. The corpse sorcerer is the pinger. It's O2 for two, uh, but it costs one to ping. I believe that's better than Prodigal Sorcerer. Uh, share, yes, I absolutely. Uh, I'll go to the Stream Talk channel and uh, share the deck lists there. That's a very good idea, guys. Um, game decks, Spectral Chaos. Let's see if we can get Stu's deck there. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, okay. He has uploaded them way too big, so I need to Photoshop and do stuff like that to send them uh, there. But I'll fix it. I think that's a good idea. Uh, Corrupt Sorcerer is now online. And let's see, how do I fix this? Okay, there is a lot of shit going down right now. Uh, uh, I'll, uh, let's see, if I just do this, maybe it can work. 
that's Stu. And that's Andrew. Now the decks are uploaded to Discord in the Stream Talk channel. Sorry about every shitty thing. Let's see if we can get the cards back on screen now as well. There we have cards, and I have no idea what's happening. There's a phantasmal train there, at least taking care of a land uh, on Stu's side. Well, let's see, we, we can have the players a bit in the background here as well. Uh, it's so easily uh, just uh, people talking in their mouth and so on. I really hate having player sound in the background. Um, like, sure you want it, but um, it, it will make for a worse stream, uh, I would say. But um, you, you, can, um, you can have a look at that uh, later on. Uh, but we also have Blank Land uh, there, um, trying to take care of what I believe are the swamps, uh, the swamp token there. Alright, I'm going to play a Ghost Rider, and... <coughs> for the striker. Uh, the Ghost Rider, uh, it's just a creature, like a 2-1, uh, flying first strike. And now he's using the Ritual there to get 5 mana. So I've got 1, 2, 3... Plus, he, he should tap... Oh, okay. It, it, the Phantasmal Train has made it to something else, maybe, so... Uh, but the Phoenix are there going to eat up uh, the Killer Bee to make it a 5-5. Five five. Uh, so, it's a 5-5 five five for 6, uh, which flies. It's a Shaman Dragon that can't be pumped and uh, some extra steps. Yes, Blightland is like Kudzu, but on one side and one type of land. And he just pings that creature. Uh, I don't know why Stu played this into the corrupt sorcerer, uh, but uh, he did, and now it's dead. Right. Uh, but that 5 5 will uh, probably take care of Andrew real quickly here if uh, uh, nothing special happens. Um, and it was destroyed, but we have a surge taking it down. But Andrew is also taking three damage uh, from it. The overloaded Sonic Blast. Okay, now it seems I have the system up and ready and working here. And also for those who are wondering, uh, you can join the Discord on the link uh, in chat there um, if you want to look at the deck lists uh, while we are doing this uh, but all swamps are going to go away here on andrew's side it seems this seems like a hard one to win because uh, that's another killer bee that's five to the face tap draw need some land badly oh yeah <laughs> this is li this lives up to its name. One player who can't play magic, one who's good at magic, playing so nobody knows and the commentator is commentating blind. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. I have no idea what I'm doing here. But now I, I believe I'm, I, I, I have gotten uh, gotten things under control now. Easily checking. Uh, the cards sending out uh, so you can read them under here. Oh, that's another corrupt sorcerer. Those are good, and he also has one black mana to kill the killer bee instead of taking five, but his black mana will also die. Uh, but maybe it's just time to try to get rid of that uh, blight land. No, there's no other swamps to that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. I'll pass to you. Uh, I should have probably done one thing. I, I thought about it, but then I took a beer instead before the stream, and that was actually studying up on the cards and so on. Uh, but the Blight Land is now dead. Uh, we don't have much mana on Andrew's side, but at least the Blight is gone. Down to 15. 
and he uh, is one in hand. What, wait what no now i need to actually uh, ask the players hello players can i just ask yes. a quick question there yeah though that two damage that happened uh where did oh yeah you're right oh shoot yeah the row twos the row twos yeah, sorry <laughs> yep That's okay fine, Gordon. <laughs> thank you gordon knows the cards better than us <laughs> so, so embarrassing <laughs> It was it was me pulling. It. Yeah, I don't know if I know the cards better, but I have them on, I have them on screen here, so maybe maybe that's something. <laughs> but this is amazing. Uh, like, I want to do this. Maybe maybe like doing a. Um, some strange yeah, tournament well, where everyone can build their decks as a normal tournament then you yeah, proxy up a couple of boosters of this and like give everyone three yeah. boosters uh, or like do a classic booster draft with two boosters uh, and everyone uh, get some cards to add to their deck or something like that i think that's that could be cool and I see MTG bot is jumping in in chat and uh, doing uh, the plug for me. Like, if you like this kind of content, we stream every Friday. Uh, please consider like sending a tip down uh, here on Twitch, like click, 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 and so on, or uh, becoming a patron. Then you also get a shout out uh, in the beginning of the stream and the end of the stream, and every be right back grabbing a beer screen we have, and so on. I do really appreciate it. Oh yeah, I sh can also nowadays say you can also become a subscriber. Uh, is it that how we call it? here on Twitch? And uh, there is the shadow, the one that will come back uh, from the graveyard if it dies, and two non-shadows are above it. Yeah, that's a good two, two for two. And um, okay. Zombie Stew uh, has a problem with the mana here because those uh, phantasmal trains have taken care of all his white mana. So there is only red mana and colorless mana on Stew's side. And the life totals are getting close to becoming equal here. Right, uh, okay, but we are going to see so something from Stu here. I can hear him. Just pay three <laughs> Protomod. Yep. Two, two, haste for two. Striker. That's recursive. Three, two, plus yeah, this is... And but that's the thing. With Spectrum Chaos, there are so many cards. Some of them are broken, uh, but some of them are also... Okay, we have a ping here on some... No, uh, uh, people how the cards work, mate. Yeah. Uh, ping on the thing, uh, it was an apprentice swordsman uh, that Stu just played straight into the pingers. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of cards that are like more correct power level than the earlier cards. Uh, I really like this. Bonnie, what do you think about uh, like having a draft? Uh, com coming in, like you build your own decks. Uh, and then coming to a tournament, getting to draft like two boosters of this to add to your deck. So, uh, Protomon, this is uh, not Spectre. Ooh, another one there. Uh, this is not Spectre Chaos Constructed. Uh, and he played it after combat. That was bad. It, it is. Um, th they have exactly sealed. Okay. with new boosters plus trading so they opened six boosters yeah. built their decks and then every once in a while i don't know how often they add a couple of boosters to their own pools and they can also trade it's a uk community doing this uh, i believe uh, seems very fun and it brings back like how you played magic in the beginning uh, where power level is fixed by rarity of cards and so on. And yeah, the proxies look very good. Ooh, that's a Lotus Petal, a scroll of parchment. Uh, also one of those things with uh, Spectral Chaos, there's a lot of cards that inspired future cards. 
And uh, is that another Arizona Phoenix, uh, which so name I do not understand why it's in Magic, five but five it's a 5-5. Five five. I'll pass to you, two in hand. And uh, my beer is running out. Oh, that's... Uh, that is Gabe's Psychic Crush, destroyed target creature. Um, and Zombies 2 has had... Um, one of those angels has a 5-5 five, five, two times now. Attack with Shadow. Yeah. Uh, Just because Timmy's got to finish. This. Oh, and ping him to death. But both of them have died. Good game. So that was uh, the first game of um, this match. And uh, I do not believe they have sideboards, uh, even right. though sealed and so on. So I'm guessing they just uh, shuffle up and deal again. Um, well, yeah, love the idea. Fear the power level is too low to just mix with existing decks. Yeah, like, but but that's also the thing. Just adding adding something, adding this, uh, and I think it's hard to do. Like spectral chaos is okay with people, because uh, then people needs to uh, do their own proxies, and not everyone can do uh, high quality printings and so on um, so I think it needs to be something that is done at the tournament uh, so uh, that, that was my thought but maybe like just giving everyone a couple of boosters but that's just like drafting uh, gives you more of the cards you need like ha doing three boosters a, a real b draft but instead of building a complete deck in the draft, you draft cards to add to your deck. I believe it, you can add a couple of cards. Like, if you can draft a complete deck, it should be. Because the power level is higher in Spectral Chaos than in Ordinary Old School, I would say, overall. Yeah, but it's not allowing proxies. It's allowing one strange proxy set for a tournament. Uh, but while they are doing this, sorry about that, I need to go and grab a beer. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna go, um... Do we have to let Jordan know first, or...? No, no, it's good. Uh, I believe so, anyway. Play into the pass. He's gone off screen, mate. Yeah, I don't know. He might have. He might have gone on for his uh, his infamous bio breaks or whatever they're called when he goes for a dump oh, yeah. live on stream. <laughs> yeah, but I think we're all right. Go for it, dude. He's not showing his play. Oh, he is. Is he? Yeah, yeah. I can see me and you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. He, honestly, he would. He, yeah, he's back now. Go for it, dude. Oh. Okay. Plain to go. Right, so I'm drawing. Let's put some life down. Oh, the, the players actually waited for me. The players can see what I do, so... Uh, right. Um, island go. Okay. So that's an island, if we didn't understand that last time. Right, I'll play swamp go. Okay, cool. Uh, Just in case. Oh yeah, and exactly. Definitely an event-specific thing. Uh, or as they do here in the league. Well, yeah, cool thing. Island, <sighs> um, a can of worms, yeah, that's right. not what you want. Draw. All right, we're gonna go planes. Ooh, we have a play here. Ghost Rider, two one fine first strike. Ghost and Rider, pass. power sink. Oh. Ghost Riders in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that card was something that did something. Okay, now we're back. It looked like the dark here. No, it's not. No, oh, uh, it was a power yeah, sink. So, Icebox, uh, hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, it's a very special game we're seeing here. It is a game of Spectral Chaos, right, uh, which is an unreleased set of uh, Magic the Gathering that was made by Barry Reich. Uh, the first player uh, who ever played Magic the Gathering with Richard Garfield. 
he designed the set and uh, it was never released. A couple of cards have seen printings uh, later on, but um, that's about it. And uh, these guys here, Zombie Stu, uh, proxied that set. So they're having a sealed deck league with this unreleased set of Magic the Gathering. Very, very cool. Yes, it is a recreation of the original set. Um, they loaded it into a booster generator that generates booster uh, according to rarity and so on. Uh, they all start out with six boosters, uh, built their deck, and then they've added a couple of boosters as time has gone by. Uh, also, by the way, we have a shadow there in play, a 2-2 two, two for two with haste so that also comes back. Another shadow, but good. Uh, I believe Stu has uh, made some, uh, as he said, artistic uh, freedom, changing some names and so on, uh, but it is... Uh, Otherwise, the complete set. He is also the one who's chosen art on everything. We have another Ghost Rider playing it straight into the pinger. Has protection from the color of your choice. You may change the color during your upkeep. So, lovely. Protection from blue. But now it's getting protection from blue with the. Uh, what name was that? Was this the Page Sword? Yeah. So he can change. Uh, uh, change it um, in upkeep as well, but I'm guessing the two one wants uh, protection from blue because the corrupt sorcerer pings. And it also has first strike, which is pretty good. Uh, let's see, there we have it because um, it can block that shadow for days. Okay, mountain. Yeah, the ward is good. The ward is good. Um, it later became a spectral ward, uh, I would say, in Ursa. Ursa block. Yeah, Gustav Doria is top, top-notch art. And we have a power sink there taking care of the lost angel, the angel that doesn't fly. Uh, Gustav Dury, a Swedish artist um, who made uh, a lot of old biblical stuff, uh, has also done a version of Dante's Inferno, I believe, or Paradise Lost. Uh, mm, top notch. Correct. Correct. So I should be. But yeah, the Pages Ward. Uh, I think it becomes Spectral Ward. Costs three mana and does the same thing. Uh, or uh, you, you return it and play it again, or something like that. No, you pay you pay one to change color? I don't remember. Modern stuff. Ursa Saga. But yeah, the art that Stu has found for these cards are very, very cool. Um, these cards... Um, I sent a link uh, in chat to a YouTube video that describes it all by Keith, the misprint guy. Uh, uh, that was a blue spell. I'm gonna ask the player. Hello, players! Uh, judge yeah. here! Yeah. Uh, did we just see mm -hmm. uh, the card Illusion being played on that uh, Ghost Rider? Correct. That has protection oh, from wit color? From blue, oh. correct. So, yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah so mm -hmm. uh, we'll rewind the game. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. And. Um, yeah, I think it's pay one to return to hand as well. Instead, we see another shadow coming down, even though they can't attack. Uh, the cards were never released uh, and so on, but Keith, the misprint guy, found... Uh, actually, uh, if I remember correctly, I haven't seen that video in five years. Um, he actually bought the card list and documentation from Barry Reich himself. And... Uh, have made it public and so on, and Stu has so fixed this. Uh, there is, uh, like, Stu set up like a Google Drive or something uh, with all the proxies he's made as well. And 
I'm going to I don't know if I can find it. it. I'm gonna see if I can have a look I'm at it. Zombie yeah. stew, where do we have you? Uh, I don't find him here. Okay, I need to go back to the game okay. instead. Oh, there you have 314 has fixed it all. Uh, there was a bunch of playtest cards, I believe, as well. But but yeah, so this is a recreation of Spectral Chaos, the magic set that never saw the light of day until this stream. This is the first first live streamed match of Spectral Chaos ever. If you like it, hey, why not do it again uh, when we see what their deck ends up uh, later in the league. And we have a killer bee coming down. It's the 5 1 uh, flying for three mana that dies after it has attacked. Which is pretty good now after that corrupt sorcerer has died. Okay. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, what um, uh, Stu has done uh, with these proxies. I believe it, it's printed on like uh, ordinary. Um, Not bad. Maybe uh, ordinary paper and stuck into sleeves, but he is—he uh, has worked with printing uh, before. I know as uh, his line of work, so it may be actually that he has a printer that can print on like 250 gram paper or so on. So there are printed cards and cut up. Uh, it could could be that way. Um, uh, he has the knowledge, I don't know if he has the equipment, but he has some we'll, equipment, uh, so... And that's a cool one, the Vampire Bats. Let's uh, see if we can put there. that on the screen. There we go. Excellent. I'll put a scroll part down just in case. I'm gonna go... Four... Oh, there. Five, six for a five, five Arizona Phoenix. And we have another... Uh, phoenix coming down uh, that's the one that eats a creature in the graveyard and it becomes as big as that creature's power and what you can see there is one of the cards we talked about the scroll of parchment which is lotus petal from tempest um, so as I said there is a couple of the, the cards that uh, has seen uh, printing later on and a lot of the mechanics that has been actually reused even though the set never saw uh, play by itself so Sha, what do you think about this is it is it cool to play a unreleased magic set yeah the art that's to all, all stu finding art from uh, old artists um, creative commons and um, artwork that doesn't have any uh, copyrights anymore, so... <sighs> I need to see if I can do like that... Oh, I have I have a bit of a problem here, let's see. see whether I'm going to enchant one of my shadow creatures with nice. a bit of knowledge. Nice. Or to do two yeah. damage. Sorry about... Uh, yeah. There we go. Um, uh, so the vampire has been enchanted with some card that's called Forbidden Knowledge, and that makes it, or uh, not the vampire, uh, the, the shadow, that makes it a pinger for two, which is very, very hard. So I'm guessing they did a play mistake now and uh, not killing that dude with protection because he changed it to black or no it already had black sorry um, one in hand. Uh, and andrew takes five from the arizona yeah, phoenix there interesting yeah good well what fun to spice up the stream hmm. Yeah, slaughtering. Uh, but yeah, I, I think so as well. Maybe doing some special tournament with these cards. Also, when we're talking about tournaments and so on, I'm thinking of doing uh, a walk walk tournament uh, for everyone on the Discord channel, uh, streaming it, of course, uh, as well. 
uh, like a Wok Wok showdown or something like that. Um, maybe in May? Uh, would that be interesting? And past you, one in hand. Yeah, cube is also uh, one. Okay, we are taking damage here. I don't know how. I think it's the pinging end of turn. Yeah, uh, like online reprints, uh, as usual. Uh, Swedish BNR, probably. Probably with some special rule, because that's how I like doing tournaments. Uh, always adding like one special rule of sorts. But um, yeah, I, I will allow even the the cards I hate, uh, Collector's Edition and uh, Gold Bordered, uh, as long as it's uh, online and streamed. This is my favorite. Oh, okay, man. we have a card coming down here. Satan's Reward. That is a Wrath of God, but you get one life for each creature that died. So both gets two. Yeah, Pla oh, Planeswalkers. That's very, very new. Whew. And that's the bomb. That's... That's that's uh, we've got two blue Yeah, that's shards of no shards uh send okay. I don't even remember. Uh, I think pre modern is pretty new when we come to this. Chef's kiss. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Instead of Wizards Hellfire. Yeah, this is like this card is playable. Actually kinda good. Uh Hellfire Maybe not so much. Lorwyn, yeah, that's the thing with the original ones. The only planeswalkers that has ever been printed that were balanced. Um, but 12, 12 on life totals. Uh, we have a man advantage on Stu's side. Uh, but other than that, uh, not much. But a blue whale, a 1 4 pumping here. Yeah, that's a cool one. It also eats all the creatures, box and so on. It's time for a beer ASMR. There we go. Apprentice Swordsman coming down on Stu's side. Just a random creature, but a First strike three, two for four. It's like overpowered in old school almost. But it can't take on that blue whale. Reference to Satan Arizona. <laughs> yeah, uh, some of the card names and so on, but like that that's the thing. It's a playtest set. Uh, it wasn't finished and so on. So a lot of uh, card names are, of course, just the playtest cards. And. Uh, Got plus three plus zero. So right now it's a four four attacking, uh, that's why they're putting a dice there. Remember, um, yeah, no, that's yeah. also why some card names are the same, like there's a disenchant yeah, that costs down. three. Uh, and um, Stu changed the name of Swords of Plowshares to Daggers to Plowshares because it costs one more. Uh, there I believe most of them. I know Stu has changed some names because of that, uh, but otherwise, uh, it, they are the names that were set as playtest names on Spectral Chaos. I'm gonna play a killer bee. Ooh, another killer bee. That's uh, I would say Zombie Stu's killer tactic. He has four of them. It's a common and. Um, <laughs> Daggers more efficient than swords. Ah, uh, depends on what you want to do. Wait, what? It's it's not counters on that whale. Uh, I I don't know why there's a three on it. <laughs> you rolled love axe. Yeah, I can. But love axe doesn't exist. Uh, that's that's a very new new card. But yeah, it's very close to Love Axe, uh, the killer bee. Okay, this time I'll, I'll he pumps, attacks, and we have a shum from the Apprentice Swordsman. 
There is almost a lava axe, uh, the psionic surge, uh, a blue uh, lava axe that also lightning bolts yourself. That is in Andrew's deck. For those who want to see the deck lists, uh, you can today find them on our Discord. There's a link in chat for that. Um, both of these deck lists can be find, found there. So, who will win now, Dibu? Five. Yeah, five damage coming through to Andrew's side. Blue burn, yeah. Uh, so Duke Leto. Uh, this is a version of Psionic Blast, uh, which is a card from Alpha, uh, which is three mana uh, and does four damage and two damage to yourself. Uh, but that's an instant. So this is like a better version or so on uh, or just a powered up version at least uh, the 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 color pie was not as defined uh, during the early days of magic so to speak and what here we have stupid stuff going on we have a, a, a lethal fire blast uh, that is uh sort of a fireball I mean, thingy like, we game, like, and he got that mana because of the anti-mana which is the best ritual ever seen in magic uh let's get the players and talk a bit about um no wait uh that's one and one Stu actually took it down so let's uh see them play their last game hopefully they can do it quickly as we are a bit okay. behind the schedule uh let's give Stu a point and so on global warming yeah some some antimatter and then a fire of lost it went on so long and i was playing like really fast but he was playing really slow but he's a lot he's, he's a lot better magic player than i am fire blast yeah it's an expel but uh needs to be red or green so it's uh, almost more like the drain life um and can't generate. Make sure you got a good seven, mate, even if you yeah. Like this would have. Uh, but I do think it's kind of boring that we have both fireball and disintegrate in alpha because uh, they're way too similar. But this is just worse. So uh, I like what we have. I do like what we have. Um, and Duke uh, Leto, um, I don't know if you're new to stream or so on, but we are playing old school every friday here this is uh, more of a special occasion with the unreleased set otherwise we are playing with the oldest of the oldest of the oldest for all new viewers here uh, next game will uh, be a classic um, 93 94 swedish banner restricted list uh, match uh, between Johan goldbrandsson and seb celia who has been playing old school since uh, i believe 2013 uh, we will see some really cool decks then. Uh, he is playing an island there, by the way, and making it a swamp. Uh, so mana fixing uh, with a phantasmal train there. The cards uh, are proxies uh, for a set called Spectral Chaos. Uh, there's a link, I'll send the same link over again in chat. Uh, to a YouTube video explaining what Spectral Chaos is, the unreleased set of Magic the Gathering created by Barry Reich, oh, sorry, uh, the first uh, person who ever played Magic against Richard Garfield. Uh, the first one to try Magic when Garfield said, hi, I have an idea. Uh, and what we can see there are corrupt sorcerers on Andrew's side. There's uh, classic pingers. But oh my god, we have a Blight Land. This will be harsh. Blight Land will ping off all Andrew's land, as it seems right now. So he should not use the land uh, that Blight Land enchants if he wants to remember. Oh yeah, uh, the video is like six years old or five years old um, uh, from Keith, the misprint guy, uh, when he found this set. Uh, he's the one who got it from the storage unit uh, from Barry Reich and like, whoa, this is an unreleased set, cool. 
And uh, Zombie Stu here, who we can see play on the left side, has uh, made proxies for it. And they're playing a league where they open the sealed pool and add to the pool every once in a while. Okay. Ooh. Uh, he is uh, just putting them out there to be killed by the pingers. I don't know why, but hey, sure. Uh, <laughs> Three two is uh, coming into play. Pass the turn. Passing the turn, and I'm guessing he will use two black mana to kill the apprentice swordsman with uh, some. I don't know if the art here is an apprentice swordsman, but sure, sure. And the sorcerer. Uh, yeah, please, uh, three fourteen. Uh, yep. uh, do do paste. Um, you can look at all of the cards at. Uh, Google Drive that Stu has set up. And Blightland, yes, that seems like a very broken card. And Fireblast taking care of one of the sorcerers, but uh, the sorcerer is killing the apprentice wizard. And then I'll pass to you, I've got four in hand. Island. Oh yeah, he top decked the black. Sorry, uh, I missed that. Thanks, Blazer. This is good because people will recognize some of these cards. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just to have a look, Blight Land, as we saw here, stupidly powerful. But like, it depends. You can just choose not to tap the land, and then it's a stone rain. That's it. Uh, so I, I wouldn't say broken in any way. Uh, Blue Whale, though, is a very powerful creature. And yeah, the, the thing is to be uh, multicolored decks in this set. Okay, there we have the most stupid card in the whole set. Brick Layers. Yeah, combo it with Ice Manipulator, uh, old school staple, and you have yourself a very nice. Very nice card, but you can also do like Wind Turbine Manipulator, that's also a very good combo in there, there's a lot of them, but yeah. Bricklayers is just stupid, they it, they, they lay brick walls in front of creatures and yeah, you can read, read it and weep or whatnot. Damn it, have you seen it? Okay, we are pumping the whale and attacking. It's a 4-4 it four, four for now. And Zombie Stew is taking 4. Because if uh, the bricklayers block, uh, the whale has this special text that makes it... Uh, if it survives combat, it is still exile removed from the game inside the blue whale's mouth or stomach until the blue whale dies and that dice is just uh, so we know what's going on it is not counters of any sort it is until end of turn and Stu thinking come on here let's see if he can do something cool and put a a brick wall in front of your whale and putting a brick wall in front of the whale that means uh, Next turn, uh, Andrew needs to pump one and attack to kill the wall. Play a killer and that is for real a brick token. I love it. Right. Um, killer bees! Once again, I believe we can see we have four of those in um, Zombie Stew's deck. You got it? But it dies immediately because he likes playing in one toughness creatures into the corrupt sorcerer, which also have some amazing. Amazing artwork. Reminds me of uh, what's it called? So that's a zero two in front of there, isn't it? Effectively, it's yeah. it's uh, it's like an anime, um, the <laughs> the sorcerer's bride or something like that. Uh, very nice. Right. What's gonna happen? Someone in chat is probably a big anime fan and so can tell me what I'm thinking. Of. But uh, Satan's reward, uh, killing all creatures. So I'm gaining one life and you're gaining two. <laughs> Not Akira. Uh, Akira. Yeah. And we have three, 
two creatures going down here and then we're going up to 22. Clean board. So I'm still up to 15. That is not true. We had a brick wall. Uh, hi guys, the brick wall is a creature as well. Uh, yeah, isn't I it? gained a life, but the the token that it produces isn't a creature. Yeah, the, the, it was the token I talked about. Uh, oh, okay, so I gained another life then. Yeah, it's it, it says a O2 brick wall token. Uh, okay, so, so it if it's an O2, creature. it's a creature. Okay, cool. Thank you. What? And then is it my go? Uh, yep. Akira is, uh, however, uh, uh, an amazing movie. Mm. Uh, no anime fans uh, in chat, it seems. Not today, Not Satan. Today, right, because the, the Satan's reward says goes to the graveyard and tokens oh. go to the graveyard, do they? Um, anyway. Um, yeah, tokens well, go to the graveyard and then as a state-based action, they say poof and disappear. Gordon knows best. Right, um, and uh, killer, killer bees can now come in because there is no corrupt sorcerer in play anymore. Gordon knows the rules to magic so well, it's amazing. Chaotic Slaves is a card that wouldn't be printed today. <laughs> Do you think, of the name, I don't know what the card does, uh, but the name seems dubious. But the shadow comes in here. Attack for five with the killer bees. Yep. waiting for a big angel to hit. And uh, then we have five yeah, damage here uh, coming down to Andrew's side, so he can play an Arizona Phoenix nice. maybe as a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, we have six mana. No! Okie dokie. I've got two mana left. One in hand. <gasps> That's the monster Sourceman. Uh, not the Apprentice, the monster, but it was Power Synced. Speed up a little bit. I know he's conscious. <laughs> Satan's War would be printed 12 months ago, but not 10. No, I do not believe so uh, either, because Satan is a reference to modern mythology or so on. Uh, and magic doesn't do that anymore. Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Um, now I know. Tapping six for Arizona Phoenix. Oh, so we need to tap. Oh, you are joking! No, I'm joking. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> it is right, the you? ancient Magus Bride. Oh, I was uh, thinking of uh, anime-wise, just because the Seb trying to do stupid jokes, I need to really find the exact one here. Five, okay, Duke, you, you, you have a very good point there. They did effing like Sharknado, uh, so yeah. Um, now they're doing uh, 40k and so on, but that's their own stuff in some way, so I'm, I'm okay with that. But like, uh, and we have a Ghost Rider coming in. Well, like Sharknado was a standard legal ordinary card, yeah, that, that was just strange in so many ways. Same I do like it, uh, both the card and the name, but so, still. Or am I that desperate? Uh, the Satanic Panic okay. in the 90s. When Unholy Strength uh, lost its pentagram uh, between nice. uh, revised and fourth yeah. edition. Nice. Um, Vampire Bats, uh, yeah. this is a card I would like to see. Yeah, I would like to have like the singer ability be this. Just getting counters We're if it does anything. Well, yeah, the vampire bats. Oh, oh how much mana you got? Up? But uh, <laughs> One, two, <laughs> we have a question, how much mana? I'm guessing power sink. Uh, otherwise that's the <laughs> Daggers to Plowshares life. giving one life to Andrew, um, but uh, Russia, the I vampire bat Russia goes to the graveyard. And okay. this is okay. daggers okay. to plowshares. A joke on swords to plowshares, that is, uh, of course, but that's Stu's name because uh, it probably was named swords to plowshares right. as a playtest, but for two mana yeah, instead. Down to ten. Okay, two shadows. They have haste, tacking down to ten. Yeah, won it, right? I think so. Draw, uh, yeah, swing you for seven. Seven damage coming across. Oh, good games, dude. It, 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 it's. 
It's just and he just is dead. Let's. Uh...